What if we told you you could have the taste of a delicious cocktail and still cut back on alcohol? Sounds wonderful. Well, one local content creator is helping you do just that with her creative mocktail recipes. Katie Nessel is known as the soberish mom on social media. Katie, thanks so much for joining us today. Why don't we just start here from the beginning? How did you start getting into this very special life craft of mocktail recipes? Uh, well, thank you so much for having me. I'm honored to be here. Yeah, you know, my background is in restaurants, hospitality, and event planning. So I was very much ingrained in drinking culture, kind of without realizing it. And then when, during the pandemic, I was a stay-at-home mom. And like so many of us, I think alcohol sales rose, you know, more than they had in the last 50 years during the pandemic. I was probably personally responsible for a few of those percentages. So, um, you know, I just didn't feel great. I wanted to cut back. And so that's when I start, ex started exploring zero-proof cocktails, non-alcoholic products um, and learned how to become kind of a more mindful drinker. I love that background. Uh, you, you know, you just said you, you didn't really like how you were feeling and so you made a change. I love your yeah. setup, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so you Thanks so much. We got to talk about your following on social media. I mean, tens of thousands of followers on TikTok and Instagram. Mm -hmm. How has your personal journey inspired you to help others? And, and what tips do you have for anyone looking to do a soberish reset? Oh, that's such a great question. Yeah, I've, I've been just connected with so many amazing people who are on their own soberish journey or starting their own journey. It's just been an honor to connect with them. I would say if you're thinking about it, you know, a couple of my first main tips, one is find a nightly replacement for your drink. So much of drinking is that 5 p.m. ritual of pouring a glass of wine. Well, maybe it could be non-alcoholic wine. If you love non-alcoholic beer, there are some amazing new beers on the market. Fremont Brewing just came out with a couple of non-alcoholic options. So find that nicely nightly replacement. Um, my second tip would probably be to, to kind of make a plan. If you're going to cut back just a little or 50%, 90%, what does that look like? I started with like a calendar and journaling. Now I use an app called Sunnyside. There's tons of apps out there that will help you track your drinking and so you can stay on track. So that, that's a huge um, benefit too. Yeah, you mentioned it there, but it, even in just like the beer world, you have the Heineken's, yeah. the Bud Lights, oh, the yeah. Blue Everyone. Moons. It seems like there's there's a non-alcoholic version mm -hmm. for pretty much anything. Um, yes, okay, the so, industry's growing quite a bit. Yes, yeah, so we have these beautiful drinks here um, that yeah. we're so excited to try. And I I hope that people can see like the flour added in like, the ice there's cube. There's a flower in the ice cube. This is too cute. The detail is stunning here, Katie. So you oh, have a thanks. demonstration for us. What will you sure. be making while we while we sip along with you? Yeah, so this is a Desert Rose Zero Proof Cocktail. So I try and make a lot of my um, drinks kind of seasonal, Valentine's Day, we're doing tons of pink drinks right now. So this is a dragon fruit simple syrup. Um, a lot of my recipes are really low sugar, so I actually make this with monk fruit sweetener. It's a zero sugar sweetener that um, you can find at Whole Foods, and dragon fruit sounds very exotic, but it's really easy to find. I found it at Target, and you just mix that up so there's no added refined sugars. I always use a lot of fresh juices, fresh citrus. I just squeezed this to um, this morning. Um, I've tried a lot of the store brought brands and it's hard to kind of recreate the actual flavor. So I highly recommend um, squeezing your own juices and then non-alcoholic spirits. I didn't even know non-alcoholic spirits existed a year ago. This is um, a botanical spirit from a company called Amethyst. It's got a really nice refreshing kind of cucumber serrano lemon flavor mm -hmm. and I always love like a sweet and spicy mocktail because um, the spice can kind of emulate the burn of alcohol. So mm -hmm. I love a spicy mocktail. That's like something I highly recommend to try and this one is great you can find it on Amazon and then cheeky and dry the first non-alcoholic bottle shop in Seattle just opened which is huge um, you can go there and try different samples the owners will let you try through like anything I don't know if you can hear me over the shaking <laughs> try to make it quick and then like you mentioned I always try and like recreate the ritual of a drink you know put a thought into it like I love floral fancy ice cubes that's something big on my account you know give yourself a nice glass give yourself a nice rim here this is a spicy tagine rim which is really complements the drink as well um, so you really feel like you're not just like pouring a bunch of juices into a pint glass you know, or something like that so that's also one of my main tips I can tell you pleasant. whatever is Oops. going on around the rim of this uh, is so tasty yeah <laughs> isn't that so great I know yeah, the spice is really nice mm. so you have your drink I spilled a little bit of course if you're not spilling are you even trying no and then Ooh. you just top with a little bit of sparkling water of your choice and he is fine give it a stir ah! And then there she is. <laughs> Katie, this is amazing. I'm so glad. Let me show you it. It's uh -huh. refreshing. Uh -huh. I'm That's not great. even mm -hmm. missing the alcohol. No, there's I'm just, so glad. There's so much flavor. 
You know, you don't right, feel yeah. like you're just, oh, I'm having yeah. a limeade that's just missing, mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever right. someone else would throw in there. But you can yeah. tell, like, the thought that goes into it and the flavor. It's just, oh, thank you. it's great. Hey, Thanks. Cheers I think to that's you, a big Katie. yeah. Thank you. Cheers to you. Yeah, I think that's a big help with the zero proof spirits. That's mm -hmm. something that's changed a lot the last few years. Um, like I didn't know non alcoholic tequila existed. So that will really help emulate. Take your like mocktail. I level up to a zero proof cocktail. Ah, and you sound yeah. so educated on what's going on here in the city. <laughs> like we've got the, yeah. um, like you mentioned Bottle Seattle has a, yes. has a shop coming or that's a brand new one that they're off offering yes. zero proof Amazing. liquor. How do you keep yeah. up to date on all the, uh, you know, changes and new trends coming to the city? Yeah, I think, you know, what's amazing is that the non-alcoholic space has changed so much just the last few years, and you're seeing tons of articles about it. Um, I personally, you know, follow a lot of other people that are kind of in the mindful drinking space to just stay on top of what's happening. Something that's really amazing in Seattle is that a lot of restaurants are starting to offer no and low proof cocktail menus, so you can go somewhere and choose, like, you know, I want a cocktail that's only 5% alcohol as opposed to, like, 30% martini, um, or I want a zero proof cocktail, and a lot of them are starting to carry non-alcoholic spirits too so that it's just not a bunch of juices mixed together it's actually something like you said that it has a layered complexity to it which is really nice so yeah try and keep an eye on what's happening both locally and then regionally as well and I think the amount of information that's now available has been a huge factor in a lot of people deciding like you know maybe I want to cut back my drinking and that's what I hope my account inspires just like maybe you look at your habits maybe you don't need to cut back a ton maybe you do and it's just a completely judgment-free space um, you know to look at those habits and I, I try and provide a lot of resources to, to help people drink a little less. Well, it's so great. So thank you so thanks. much for the treat too. And thanks, thanks for your time, Katie. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I mean, this is really flavorful. It's really good. And mostly it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Here's the <laughs> up close. You can kind of oh, see right. the, kind of want to tilt it without spilling, but you can see the ice cube. I'm just going to use my own What if I else. grab it? There it is. Here you go. You look can at this. See the, oh, there you go. Take a look at that. That's that beautiful. flower is embedded into the ice cube, which is really cool That's and so fun cool. to make on its own. Um, but a great drink. And also, you know, we just finished January. Ooh. Splashing it back in the cup. She said, you're not doing it right if you're not splashing. Right, you got to make some splashes. <laughs> you got to make some splashes.